Lucid Motors, which is currently CCIV stock, is one of the biggest stories of 2021, officially going public early this summer. Trading around 20 bucks a share right now, the stock is down around 70% from its all-time high of 65 bucks a share. In this video, I'm going to outline exactly what I think will take for Lucid Motors stock to hit that all-time high again. And if you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing for more content like this. And if this video hits 399 likes, I will make a video in the next few weeks with a comprehensive comparison between Rivian, another luxury emerging EV company, Mercedes and their EQS, and then Lucid Motors. So hit that thumbs up if you want that. Now, jumping back to CCIV, if you recall, the stock had a massive high of $65 a share around three months ago, which was in February, on the speculation itself that Churchill Capital Corp. 4 CCIV stock would reach a deal that was rumored by Bloomberg. Now, when the deal was actually announced and confirmed, the stock price took a huge hit mainly because people realized how absurd the valuation was at the $65 a share. Essentially, it was priced at a market cap of $16 billion at $10 a share. Remember that with any SPAC, so CCIV included, after a deal has been announced, the market cap of the SPAC becomes irrelevant, and you have to calculate it based on pro forma shares, outstanding per the deal agreement, which is $1.6 billion roughly for Lucid Motors. So that would be $16 billion at $10 a share, or $32 billion at $22 a share, and so on and so forth. Now, with everything Lucid has going for it, their proven top-of-the-line technology and vertically integrated system, nobody is willing to pay $100 billion for a pre-revenue company. So you can see the chart here. This is what happened right after the deal was announced. Now, to be clear, the conditions in the market also weren't great as this was happening. We also began the correction in high-growth spec plays and in tech that has happened over the last three months. So I don't think the dynamics around the deal itself were the sole reason that the stock crashed hard, but were the main reason. Now, as for the deal, it looks like it should be closing sometime in late June or through July, but we don't have an official date yet, except the company recently announced it would trade under ticker LCID. So we might hear an official date soon when the merger will be completed. Now, as for the stock right now, it has essentially consolidated around $20 a share, which is a valuation of around $32 billion. There's no doubt that even this is a big premium, considering there's still a lot of unknowns. But with the current technology they have proven to have and how close they are to production, I can't get past a valuation of 25 to $30 billion. But the real question is, what's the path to $60 a share again, which is a market cap around $96 billion? Obviously, like Tesla, Lucid is being valued at an extremely forward-looking projection. So the most important thing right now is to see the company begin mass production for the Lucid Air Dream Edition and potentially get some deliveries before the end of Q4 2021 as they expect. Then, of course, we are expecting to see the Lucid Air Grand Touring, Lucid Air Touring, and Lucid Air Pure to enter the market next year in 2022. Everything Lucid has set up right now, whether it be their Amp One factory in Arizona, their plans for Project Garage, Gravity, which is an electric SUV, their top-of-the-line battery technology, their showrooms, their proprietary technology for their cars, fast charging speeds, bi-directional charging, cutting-edge software, etc. All this has been priced into this current $32 billion valuation. But to get to the $96 billion, we will need to see them not only begin production later in the second half of this year as planned, which will likely lift the stock up some, but also begin to deliver vehicles at the expected rate entering 2022. So Q1 and Q2 earnings and forecasts will be key. On top of that, in the fall, when the air starts to get into the hands of consumers, we will likely begin to hear if there are quality issues or not, which is a common with new cars. So that is another major catalyst that could have a huge effect on the stock. They have a goal of 20,000 vehicles to be delivered next year, which looks like it could be in danger after Peter Rawlinson recently on CNBC chose not to answer a question asking him to confirm that number. I think we could see the stock hit maybe 30, 40 bucks a share in the fall or late summer if we see news of production beginning and also we hear validation that there are minimal quality issues, which I will reiterate, quality issues with new companies are basically expected. So to which extent that is, is important. We also may hear news of a major partnership with a large company that could definitely help it get up to the 40 bucks a share. But to get from that 40 to 60 bucks a share mark, if things in the fall go well, I definitely want to hear that production is ramping up in 2022 and that they have a goal close to 20,000 cars being delivered and are in fact on target to hit that, which would lead to a revenue of 2.2 billion. 
So essentially in the spring of 2022, if the company shows to be on target and fully ramping up production of their other models of the air, then I think $60 a share is attainable. But anything less than that, I would have a hard time seeing that. And if you think I'm being conservative with that estimate, I'm actually not because I'm not even considering factors like EBITDA, which isn't expected positive until 2024, or free cash flow or net profitability, which isn't expected until 2025 to be positive. But right now, considering how the EV market is in such an incredibly large stage of growth and people seeing the demand and also how Tesla has been priced, I think that a large premium is going to be allotted to Lucid Motors stock. But as long as they are on track with their goals, as I have reiterated. And another thing worth pointing out is that I'm sure you've seen charts of Tesla's market cap being compared to being equal or greater than the combined market cap of some big automotive manufacturers, as you can see here. And one of the biggest reasons for that is because Tesla has built their image around not being just a car company, but a tech company also. This is not just because Tesla is purely focused on EV and these companies are not, because if you've been paying attention, you would see that all these companies are expanding into EV aggressively, Ford, GM, BMW, Volkswagen, etc. So that component of Tesla in addition to EV is what people are paying for. Now, I would argue that Lucid has a similar appeal. They have a completely vertically integrated system which supports their EVs, but part of this, their battery technology, is top of the line, and they have plans to expand this beyond cars. Per their investor presentation, they're looking to expand into the ESS, energy storage systems market, using their technology. As a reminder, their battery technology is used in Formula E racing, and they mention a potential to expand into aircraft, EV tolls, air watercraft, military uses, and heavy machinery. So their battery tech and applications beyond cars is something to definitely consider. Now, on the other hand, solid state batteries are something to watch out for, as their specs would outdo what Lucid offers with their lithium ion batteries. Although I expect Lucid might be doing their own R&D in this area. And I would also have to point out that Lucid only has level 2 autonomy, but then again, Tesla still only has level 2 autonomy, despite saying they are close to level 5, which I do think we are still a good bit away from. Now, if it wasn't clear, I have high hopes for Lucid Motors and recognize that they have done a lot to get where they are today and are legit, but getting past production and any other delays will be a powerful test for them that I hope and expect for them to get through. And I definitely intend to continue talking about Lucid Motors on the channel. And if you are in fact interested in a comparison video between Lucid, Rivian, and Mercedes with their new EQS coming out, then hit that thumbs up and let's get this to 399 likes. And with that said, thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, definitely consider subscribing and I hope to catch you next time.